Hey everyone, welcome to May's Lug Life. I'm May, and today I'm going to be doing a comparison video between the all the different gondolas that uh, Lug has come out with. So the one that you see here in front of you is the original gondola that came out about two or three years ago. Um, and I'm going to talk about this one, compare it with the new one that just came out this past weekend, which is the Gondola SE, or I believe Special Edition is what the SE stands for. Uh, whenever Lug does a re-release of something, they they sometimes will call it SE just to differentiate between the two different ones whenever they've made any tweaks, if they haven't just added new colors. Um, and then I'm also going to talk a little bit about the Gondola XL. And XL is extra large. It came out roughly about the same time as the one that you see here in front of you. Um, I don't have the XL and I don't have the XE. I don't have the XL because I didn't want it. <laughs> and I don't have the SE because it just came out this weekend. So I'm doing this video. I'm trying to make it kind of quickly. So I apologize if it's a little messy or if I've forgotten something. I also have a whole new setup for those of you who have seen my videos before. So I've, I'm doing a virgin run <laughs> for the first time as I speak. Um, so if things get a little weird or if things aren't quite in frame, I apologize in advance. Uh, I am not a cinematographer by any stretch and Anyways, I'm just winging it as we go because I just want to get this video as quickly as possible so that those of you who are either on the fence about getting this new one versus the original one, if you happen to have the original one, um, if you're lucky enough to still have one of these, um, or if you just want to know because you just want to know. Um, I thought I'd put this video out quickly because I believe the QVC sale is still on for this new product and I believe the Canadian equivalent sale is also still on on luglife.com. So before the sales are off, I thought I'd quickly put this out there to hopefully answer any questions that anybody may have. If there's something that I missed, please leave it in the instructions, oh, sorry, instructions, the comments below, um, or if I've made a mistake or anything like that, leave me a message below. So um, at the end of this video, I will try to include as much information as I can available for all of the different uh, versions of the gondola. So stay tuned at the end. I usually try to include some fact sheets just so you can really get a sense of the differences. So just so you know, I also have already made a full review video of this particular bag of the original one. So I will try to leave the link down below as well so that you can tune into that one if you want a much more in-depth sort of review of the original bag. Okay, so let's just get into the similarities and the differences. Right off the bat, the similarities are the sizing. So the sizing of this original, oh, by the way, this is Ocean Dot, uh, in case you wonder what the color, which they don't make anymore. Very sad. Um, so anyway, so yeah, so sizing. It is 20 inches across, so 20 inches wide. They're both the same. They both are five inches deep, and I'm assuming they're taking this measurement. Uh, of the bottom here. So that's the five inches there. So that is the same for both. Now this one is the original one is ever so slightly uh, shorter in the height. So this is 11.5 inches tall from the, just the top, just above the um, cell phone pocket to the very bottom of the bag, which I don't know if you can see my finger. Um, so it just comes to the very bottom there. The SE one is 12 inches. So it's about half an inch taller this way. I don't see how that's going to make much of a difference, to be perfectly honest with you, and for practical reasons. Um, half an inch is really, really not much that way when this is where they're taking the measurement. Okay, so so that's the same as far as the measurements go. Oh, and the, oh, sorry, and the, um, the shoulder drop. So the shoulder drop, so from the top of the strap to, I guess, where the bag starts, that is supposedly 10 inches for both. Um, so, so that's the similarities um, as far as the sizing goes. The other similarities are as far as the features go. So this is the front of the bag. They both have the fleece lined cell phone pocket. They both have a zipper pocket in the front um, with no organization that I can tell. Um, the SE, I don't know for a fact, but it didn't look like there was one according to the video. Uh, on the back here, there is a small zipper across the top just above the trolley strap and it looks like there's the same exact trolley strap with the same reinforcements on the side and the same size zipper it didn't look like it was proportioned any differently on the se so to me it looked about the same they're not actually taught they never really sort of measure the pockets which i find kind of annoying uh because i find that the pockets are really important i would love to know the sizes of all the different pockets but anyways that's just my own pet peeve about lug um they only talk about the actual general measurements and even then they're a little bit off because once you stuff it with 
with stuff, it sort of changes things a little bit. Um, they both have the wipeable plastic line, sorry, covered bottom with the four rubber feet. So that is the same between all the bags. Um, and then let's go to the inside, or actually let's go just, just to the um, zipper first. It looks like they both have this sort of weird uh, zipper that has um, a little gaping sort of gap at the side on each side, so at the front and at the back. So that seems to be the same. They haven't sort of made it a full zipper that's completely enclosed. So that is about, the, so that's the same between the two. Um, okay, so let's go to this side. So the side where the name is attached to, um, there is a pocket on this side, like a little little um, elasticized pocket, and there is a water bottle pouch here. So that's sort of same, the layout anyways. Um, and there are also tiered uh, pockets on the one side with two pen slots there. So that is the same. Um, and I think that's pretty much where it ends. Um, there's, there's um, yeah, there's really not much more other than that. So, so those are the similarities between all of them. Um, now, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I think when I saw them do the video, it looked like they were able to get a, um, like they sort of put an XL, sorry, a Splits XL into this front pocket uh, width-wise. I put my Splits XL into this and it still does fit. I don't know exactly what the measurements are, but it looks like this zip pocket is about the same size. Because um, like I said, I got my Splits XL in here, no problem, and that seemed to fit. So at least that pocket's the same. Now, let's talk about the, uh, the differences. There's not a ton, but there's just enough that, you know, if you really just want to get it, it is a slightly different bag. It does have slightly different features. So you're not getting the exact same bag, really. Um, and they have made actually a couple of improvements. And there are a couple of things to me, I'm not as thrilled about. So first of all, um, the main difference that I kind of liked was the fact that they've changed the rubberized straps at the top. So if you can see here, the original one, it's the regular fabric on the top. And then when you flip it over underneath it, that's where you see the little rubberized bit there. Um, but unfortunately, because, and I think I talked about this in the other video as well, my previous uh, review, there's a little bit of a ribbing on both sides sides and it's slightly raised so it's a little above the actual rubberized part so when you're actually trying to keep this on your shoulder it slips because you're actually getting this on your shoulder more than you are getting the actual rubberized grip so the new one they've actually put rubber right around the entire thing and it looks like it's kind of got that soft jelly cushy thing that a lot of the lug bags have so that's a huge improvement if you like rubberized grips if you don't like rubberized handles then you're going to hate it um, because like I said, this one has minimal amount. So if you're one of these people who hates a rubberized grip or you have really long hair, this one's not going to eat your hair as much. But the new one, because it's rubberized on both sides and it's quite thick and it's quite big, um, if you're just trying to keep the bag on your shoulder, you're going to be happy. If you're trying to keep all your hair intact, you're going to hate the new strap. So that's the difference between the new strap and the old strap. The other difference is um, that... I'm like, eh, that's really too bad. Um, first of all, the old one, the original one that I have here, if you look at the back pocket, there's some organization in this little back pocket. It doesn't mention on the website, it didn't seem to show in the video. Now, I'll be honest with you, I haven't seen all the videos, I didn't watch any of the QVC videos, so maybe they talk about it there. Again, if they did, leave it below, because from what I could tell, there was no organization in any of the two front pockets. So this one, if you can, I hope you can see, there's a very small, um, sort of elasticized pocket and it's fleece lined right there and it's it's not very big it's probably just enough to put like your jewelry your watch um, a small cell phone back in the day when you had a pager because um, this is an older bag so it you know is you know you could hold older tech um, and then there's also two pen slots just on the inside right next to it there. So there's two pen slots and a tiny little pocket, maybe for your calculator, for your mouse, I don't know. Anyways, so this actually has organization. The other one, I believe the new SE does not, I don't think. Going on to the inside, so again, that first, that front side, this pocket here, that sort of main elasticized pocket is a lot bigger on the SE and it looked like it fit a very large iPad 
um, height wise. So you couldn't put it in like width wise. You could put it in, I guess, portrait wise, <laughs> portrait angle. And it was sort of deep enough and big enough this way that you could fit a really large iPad in. This one, you couldn't put anything more than like a small tablet, uh, like either like, you know, a, 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 tin, a Kindle or a small iPad mini. Um, the water bottle pocket is also a little bit different. The older one just has plastic um, inside and it is going all the way down. So the new one, the new one other has the same pocket on the same side, but it's got insulation. It's got that silver insulated, I don't know, reflective surface, re reflective, um, I don't know what it is, material um, that goes around the entire thing. So it's still plastic, still wipeable, but it's insulated. So it has a little bit more of an insulating quality. I don't know how much warmer or colder it's going to keep your drink, but it's better than, I guess, nothing. And this one doesn't have it at all. It's just wipeable. Um, the other side is where things get. I'm like, oh, maybe I should have left this. So I kind of like this one. And that's part of the reason why I got it. So it does, like I said, have these little slip pockets there. So the tiered one, the taller one, the shorter one, the next one, and the two, uh, uh, what are they called, <laughs> pen holders. But this side is different. So the original one has a zipper mesh pocket and it's mesh and it's got its own little gusset. So you can actually stuff that a fair bit and still be able to close that zipper. On the new one, on the SE, it's the same. It's got the 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 uh, the tall tiered slip pockets on both sides. Um, the other difference is this top pocket here, according to the video, um, this top one and on the one on the other side were fleece lined. This one is not. There is nothing fleece lined in these pockets. These are just the regular uh, that nylon. Uh, and the only fleece line that you, the only thing that is fleece lined is this pocket back here. So this one here in the original one is fleece lined. And it doesn't, the new one, the SE doesn't mention that there's actually any fleece lining in that big tech pocket. So again, I don't know if it's in there. It's possible, but since it doesn't mention it, I'm assuming it doesn't have it because they usually talk about those kinds of things. Uh, and the other difference is the old one, the original one, does not have a bungee cord. The new SE has a key bungee attached to the inside of the of the bag of the main compartment. So that is the difference that I, you know, that I think would have would have I would have liked in the original one, but clearly it wasn't there. Um, so let's see, what else did I forget? Oh, gunmetal zippers. So the original ones did not have gunmetal zippers. They had the tonal ones. Um, so if you are really into gunmetal, you're going to like the fact that the new one, the SE, does have gunmetal zippers on all of their zippers, both the interior and the exterior from what I could tell. Um, and the other difference that I kind of find interesting is, okay, actually, it's all, it's all cosmetic, but for me, eh. Um, the original one, obviously, oh, where'd it go? Is it this side? I called the wrong side. The original one has the original, uh, little sort of rectangular, uh, logo in in the metal in the in the same tonal color. The new one has the cursive in the um, in the gun metal. So the new one has that new fancy logo on the bottom. Again, if you're really into that, and the stitching is different. The quilting is different. So the original one is just straight quilting going in, I guess, stripes all the way around, and it's all evenly spaced. There's nothing different. The new one has these sort of diagonal uh, stitching with the quilt going sort of up this way. So it kind of reminds me of the. I can't remember, I think it's the courier. Anyway, so so the stitching's a little bit different, the quilting's a little bit different, and the very last thing that I found that was different, where'd it go, is this, and I think I'm a little sad. So the old one, the original one, has live life in color written on the inside there. The new one does not. So those are the similarities and differences between the original and the SE. Um, again, if I've forgotten something, I have something written down here, but I'm not reading my notes very well. Um, da -da -da -da, I think I got everything there. So I'm just going to talk about the, um, the new, sorry, the new one, the XL really quickly and compare between all of them with the XL. Now, again, I don't have the XL, but I, tr from, this is from memory and just from looking at a couple of pictures online, the bag doesn't seem to exist anywhere. Uh, there are very, very few places that have them and the few places that have them didn't really mention it. And there's like one photo of the outside, one of the ends of the, of the back of it, and then one weird little one on the inside. So I'm kind of running from memory. 
because I remember tr wanting to get the XL and trying to compare them. So I kind of remember it quite well, the differences between the, the different features. So let's talk about them quickly. So the shoulder strap, sorry, the shoulder drop for the uh, XL, weirdly, I think was shorter. I think I was like one inch shorter than the original one. And the reason why I remember that is because the reason why I don't love this bag, even though I love this bag, was the shoulder strap for me is way too short. Um, it's 10 inches on this one. And I believe it was actually shorter on the XL, which to me made absolutely no sense because that would have sold me. If it was a larger drop shoulder, I would have bought it because for me, I thought the 10 inch was a little too short for me. Um, and I'm not even a big person. Like I'm not, and certainly when I was carrying this, I was less, I weighed less than I did, than I do now. Um, but for me, I just didn't like it underneath my armpit. And when I wore a coat or a thick sweater, it got really uncomfortable, especially when the bag was full. So it has a smaller drop, uh, shoulder than both of the SE and the original. Um, there is a zipper, so, oh, sorry, the front of it has two zipper pockets. So this one here, there's that, there's the cell phone pocket, there's one, and then the XL has another one right beneath it. Um, the back zipper, um, on the original one, whoa, sorry, oh, there we go. I hope everything is still in frame there. Sorry, I just totally knocked everything over there. Um, where am I doing here? What was I talking about? Uh, so, so, oh yeah, so, so, so the back one here, um, I believe it also, it didn't have any of the, um, didn't have that little soft line pocket. I don't think it had the pen holders or maybe, no, it did have pen holder, but I'm not sure about the soft line pocket. So I'll be honest with you. I don't know what the features were on the inside, probably similar, if not the same as the original one here with the soft fleece line pocket and the pen holders, but I don't know for sure. Don't quote me on that one. Um, the other thing is the inside of the XL did have a key bungee, much like the XE does right now. The original one is the only one that doesn't have the little key bungee on the inside, but the original, sorry, the SE and the XL do, uh, did, whatever. Um, and the XL came with that insulated pouch. So it came with a removable insulated pouch, which is, um, the same, I think, if I'm not mistaken, as the new ones that they've just come out with, the new insulated pouches that Lug has just come out with, um, with a little zipper at the top. So it just looks like a little cosmetic bag, but with the insulated lining. Um, and I think that's what originally kind of made them make another ones because I think people were requesting just to have the inside of that one. Um, and they didn't, they didn't make it until recently. So those are the differences. Oh, and the other thing, sorry, the inside as well, the, when you go into the front side here, the XL has two, oh, sorry, it has one big long clear view pocket with a dividing seam. So there's that, that zipper that goes across and then there's two separate pockets that's divided by a seam. And then below it, it would have two uh, stretchy cargo pockets uh, of the same size just below it on the one side. And the other side, I think, if I'm not mistaken, um, it first of all, it didn't have the water bottle pocket at all. So that was definitely something that made me go, okay, the whole reason why I love the original bag is because it did have the water bottle pocket. So the fact that the, the, the bigger one didn't have one, it kind of, kind of bummed me out a little bit. So like I said, it has the clear view on the, on the one side and on the other side, um, I think it just had like two like larger, um, elasticized, cargo pockets that were quite deep. So they were a lot taller and it was just one big one on here and one big one there so that you didn't have all these little extra small pockets. And I think that's it. Um, I don't think there's anything much different. Oh, but the sizing was different. Sorry. So let's talk, let's talk about the size. So the XL, um, again, I'm going by memory cause I don't have the actual measurements. No one seemed to provide them and I didn't write it down anywhere cause I didn't care once I had this one, but from what, from memory, I believe, it was um, a little bit taller. Actually, was it taller? No, it was, it was taller this way. So the height, instead of being 11 and a half inches, I think it was like 13 or 14. So it was a lot taller. Um, but width wise, it wasn't much. It was just a little bit wider. And it was like, I think half an inch deeper. So instead of it being five, I think it was like maybe 5.5 .5 or six or something like that. So instead of it being, you know, shorter this way, it was a tiny bit bigger this way. It's a tiny bit bigger this way, but it was a bit taller. Like I said, it was probably like two or three inches taller. Um, and that was it. So as far as the sizing, the XL was bigger 
but it wasn't huge. Like it didn't, I don't think it needed the name XL because um, it really wasn't XL. It was just L. So it was larger than this one, but it wasn't huge. But for me, like I said, it was the drop shoulder that, the, the size of the drop shoulder that really turned me off. And the fact that it was missing the water bottle holder, which really was the thing that I fell in love with about this bag, that it had an interior uh, sort of plastic lined pocket so that if it sweat or if it spilled a little bit, I could just wipe that off. So, so there we go. I hope that was helpful. I hope that helps you decide whether you're going to get the new one or whether you're happy with the old one or whether you're not going to seek out the old one <laughs> um, because as it turns out, you like the features better. Me personally, if I had to choose, I prefer the older one overall. It has more features, it's got more little pockets, it's got much more unique features, which is why I kind of fell in love with Lug. It's got lots of really cool things, like I said, like it's got that mesh pocket, uh, the water bottle, you know, thing, that's why the water bottle pocket, which they do have in the new one as well. But that mesh pocket is very, very cool. Um, and the fact that it had like a little organization in that back pocket was really kind of, kind of cool. The new one doesn't have that. Um, the only thing that I would love to have on the older one is the rubberized grip. However, because it's so tight on my shoulder, I didn't really, I don't think I desperately needed it, but because it was so tight, um, and because of the way the bag sits, the shoulder straps were really wide on my shoulder. I couldn't get them together. So I'm not sure if the, if the rubber rise grips would have helped, probably would have kept them on my shoulder a little better. Um, but anyway, so that's about it. So for me, I don't think I'll be getting the new one. I like the new one, but I don't know if it's worth it. And the other big difference, by the way, and I don't, don't quote me, but I believe the new one is a whole lot more expensive. Um, I think it's $124 Canadian, which is I think insane uh, for uh, a squishy bag that doesn't have a whole lot of structure and is not like a really, really big bag. Um, and it's not really a travel bag. Like it's not a, it's not a wheelie or anything like that. I mean, it's, it's okay, but it's, I don't know, I think 124 is insane. Um, and I know for a fact that it was less than a hundred. Uh, the, the original, the original price, the regular price on the original one was definitely less than a hundred. I want to say something like $99 Canadian. Um, but again, I, I'm not a hundred percent sure. You'll probably see it in the uh, fact sheets at the end. Cause I think I took a photo of it when, uh, when this originally sort of was on sale one day and I just sort of took a photo of it. So you'll see that at the end, but I believe it was $99. Um, I don't know how much the XLs were. I'll be, I'll be honest with you. Again, I, I didn't really pay attention cause I decided not to get it. So I sort of wiped it out of my brain. Um, so there you go. Um, like I said, I hope it was helpful. Leave me any questions below if you want me to, you know, find out if something fits in the pocket or anything like that with the original. Like I said, I don't have the SE and I don't think I'll be getting one. Um, the price is not good enough for me. I think it's on sale for 75 Canadian, which is okay. Um, it's just when I already have this one and it seems to have more of the features that I like, there's really no reason for me to get the new one. So I think I'm going to opt out for now. Um, maybe if it comes down to half price one day, maybe I'll bite, but at the moment I think I'm okay. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope that was helpful. Um, and I will leave links and stuff at the end of this, um, so that hopefully you can, you know, s sort of investigate for yourself a little bit further. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a good one. I'll see you next time.